this full bench reference originated from a single bench order passed in WPC 890 of 2022. Okay, one of the two uh, uh, 893, 893 of 2022. If I'm not wrong. Now, the writ petitioner claimed that his services could not have been terminated. He is also a teacher who was appointed during that regime where the new education policy, uh, new employment policy was involved. And he came and told that the government could not have terminated his services without giving him a notice. Our, that means government's plea was that government has not terminated anyone's notice. Rather, when the court had told that each one of them are liable to be terminated because the entire selection procedure was wrong. It is we the government who went up on appeal. When the appeal was dismissed by the Supreme Court, we again and again, there was a, there was a promise given by the government also during 2018 uh, elections. In terms of that policy, the government prayed before the Supreme Court again and again that the term of the services of these terminated teachers should be extended because we are not in a position to fill up all these posts fallen vacant due to the termination of these teachers 10,223 to be precise in one day or one year. So give us time. Supreme Court in phases gave us extension of the services of these teachers till March 2020 and said no further. Okay? We had implemented the order of the Supreme Court and High Court. We had not on our own terminated any person. This must be understood. So, government having not terminated in the first place the services of this person, there is no question of government issuing any notice. Notice, if any, has to be issued by the court. And the court told we have issued notice. Post Tarboynath, this matter was agitated in a case, uh, Vijay Krishna's case. Okay, one of the uh, persons in 10,223. A division bench of this court with Justice Sanjay Karol and Justice Lodh had categorically told that under Order 1, 